the hell's going on here? Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do stuff. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to do something. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. I did discover off-camera that I can no longer smelt um, titanium because it's now been moved up to the Tier 3 furnace, and I probably can also not make titanium plating and stuff like that in here. So that means, and, and along with the fact that I need two beakers before I can get the chemistry station upgraded. Whoops. Don't do that. Um, that means these are now all of a sudden a more important priority to get upgraded. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we need for that. So we're going to pin this. Uh, we're going to need 600 research data. That's going to be probably the biggest thing there. We don't need to upgrade both of the furnaces right now, but we need to upgrade one of the furnaces. And we don't have quite enough research data for that. So guess what that means, guys? We're going to go back out and do some more looting in this episode and see if we can get that research data that we need. Um, books, too, actually. And 20, oh my goodness, 20 military fiber. Um... That would be in here if I had it at all. Okay, we have 12, so we're going to need to come up with eight more of those. Did I learn... Do I know how to make that? Military fiber. Whoop. whoop. Okay, try that again. Mill... <laughs> Jeez Louise. I'm not drunk, I promise. Um, yeah, see, we can't even make that because we need the tier three station. So we're going to be on the lookout for military fiber as well. And uh, hopefully we can buy that from the, from the trader too. So the thing is, is I don't have any money left and we've pretty much sold everything that I want to sell. Do we get military fiber if we scrap military clothing? Um... Where is... Oh, yeah, my armor's in here. All right, so... <clears throat> this is... This is the lowest quality military item I have. If we scrap it... No, we don't. We just get light armor plating. No, that sucks. Okay. So, yeah, um... That means, guys, that getting the getting the furnace and the blacksmith station upgraded has all of a sudden become a very important priority. What does this require? Titanium ingots. See, this one would actually be easier to do, I think, than the furnace. But the furnace is the one that's more important because we can't process titanium until we'd get it done. So, yeah. All right. Well, that being the case, then, let's go ahead and get geared up and ready to go back out and uh, do some more zombo bashing. Uh, we're very hungry, so I'm just going to eat the shepherd's pie right now. We have four sham chowders on us in addition uh, to that. And I don't know if that's going to be enough to get all of our food, so let's just eat a few of these, too. To add a little extra. I'm also low on on beverage too. And I did put the well down and it is working. So it's already got 23 charges of water in it. Uh, so that's very good news. So we're just assuming that this well is connected into the the plumbing for our our kitchen here that was Magically still working when we moved in. <laughs> okay, so let's drink um, this. Oh, I wanted to go into here and into here and into here. I want to see my food and water bar. No, just always on. Encumbrance bar. 
Here, let's have that always on to apply. There. That way we can always always see that stuff. That's how I had it before the update anyways. Okay, so let's drink another one of these. And we'll drink the final one. So I have quite a bit of goldenrod tea, and I have quite a bit of beer. But I don't think we have the thing for beer. So I think what we'll do is we'll just drink some of this goldenrod. Is it used in any recipes besides... Nope, just... Wait, what? Oh, just to make the goldenrod. Yeah, so... We'll just drink that golden rod since we have so much of it and we don't use it for anything else. Uh, and then at some point, you know, we'll have to do something more for our our beverage situation. All right, I don't think I want any of that stuff. What I might do, though, is how many eye candy? We got a lot of eye candies. Let's take those with us. Uh, so that way, when we get to end loot, we can pop the eye candy and get a little extra something something there i think i have a skill point too don't i i do have a skill point okay we are focusing on perception we got dead eye up to four we could put a point into archery um and i also want to get penetrator maxed out too so that requires perception level eight yeah let's just sit on that point because yeah see it, it takes two points to get to level eight so we're going to sit on this point until we level again then we'll get eight, and then we can get Penetrator maxed out to level four. Which will be really good. Fantastic. Okay. So, um, we're good on food and water. How's our ammo? Uh, let's grab a little bit more ammunition for the road. Uh, so I just want to top off my 762. Uh, we're good on those. We don't need quite that many sniper rounds, and we'll throw a few more shotgun shells in, too. Okay, we're good to go there. Looks like all of our weaponry and tools are in good repair. We have honey in case we get infected. Let's, uh, let's move this down here. We'll take Roberta with us. That way we can use her to carry extra stuff if we need to, and I think we're good to go. All right, so now what we're going to have to do here is get this out of here. You know, maybe we should maybe we should take a quest. Um, you know, just to get some extra money and keep working towards tier 5 anyways, which I do want to do. So yeah, why don't we do that? Let's take a quest. Or do we even have a quest already? Maybe I do. Let's get down uh, on the ground first. You know what I didn't grab is gas. Um, well, we have a full tank, so I, I, we'll be okay, I think. <laughs> I hope. I have gas. I just don't want to go all the way back up there to grab it. Uh, well, you know what I could do? I could... Um, I could just go up the ladder really quick. Yeah, let me do that. I'm just I just want to have at least one extra gas can with us. Maybe we'll grab two. Just in case. Okay, we are good to go. Um, so let's take a look see at quests. Yeah, we don't have any active quests. So let's head on over to Trader uh, Joel. I think that's our trader, right? Joel, yeah. And get a quest from him. We are, I believe we're on tier 4, so we'll just keep working tier 4 quests and uh, get the money and the rewards and hopefully get up to tier 5. I, well, I don't know if we'll get up to tier 5 today, but we'll work towards it. And I don't remember how many tier 4 quests we've done because it's been a while since I've done any questing. Okay, let's see. Fetch and clear at a cul-de-sac. Fetch and clear at the Zelic restaurant, which we've already, we, ju we just did that. Savage Country, Medium Store, that would give us another shot at some ammo racks. Old Mansard House or a Restore Power. Um, I'm thinking let's do the Savage Country, Medium Can Store. Do me a favor. Exterminate all the zombies. Okay. I wouldn't do this for just anyone. Man, it has been a long time, actually, since we've done any quests. 
quite a while. Oh good, the sun's coming out. Been kind of a dreary day so far here in the apocalypse. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Um, just in case these guys wander over this way, let's just eliminate them right now. Hold still. There. That was some terrible shooting. I'm having a little bit of soreness in my wrist and arm today from mousing, so that does affect my aim sometimes. I need to I need to do my stretches, my wrist stretches. The, the wrist stretches that I do, I basically take my hand like this and I just press it up against the wall to stretch it out. And that has worked so well over the years because, you know, as I get older, carpal tunnel and all that kind of shit becomes more of an issue. Uh, I've been able to, to really manage it well and without having to get surgery or anything like that. Okay, so let's head on in here. Uh, this is just an exterminate, so we don't need to get any... Um... There's a book. Good. We don't have to get the like the, the little chest thingy. Alright, let's go around the outside first to see if there are any other cars or anything that got reset that we can loot. Oh, shit! Got a bolt there, that's good. Okay, I think that's it. For stuff we can loot on the outside, well, here's a trash too. There's another copper ruski. No blowing up on my watch. Okay, let's head on in. Oh, man, that woke up everybody. Off with your head, and off with your head. And not off with your head, yet. There we go. You dead? Got another spadider here. And formerly known as Spider. Zombo. Okay. Does that take care of everybody here in the front room? I'm not going to search the clothing racks, but we'll search pretty much everything else because we need books too. Uh, and, you know, we can get those out of trash and whatnot, so. But we won't worry about the clothing racks. Let's search the janitor's cart. Those are locked. Or, well, I guess not all of them are locked. Oh. oh look at that, man. We got a, a blue lever action rifle. That's a per That's pretty nice loot. We don't need it ourselves, but we can certainly sell it and make a little bit of bank. Okay, let's unlock this. We'll do our usual counterclockwise first, though that hasn't been working out as well as it normally does for me recently. Yep. Oh, for goodness sakes. Yeah, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> maybe, maybe I'm going to have to... Not think that counterclockwise is works as much anymore. For 19 dukes, that was worth it. Oh well, at least we got some um some lockpicking experience. We need like we're at 99. We need one more point, 
and then we're like maxed out. Okay, well, oh, there we go. Okay, counterclockwise worked that time. Maybe it's, it, I know, it, it's got to all just be RNG for 25 dukes. Yeah, that was worth it too. But no, we got the, we got the XP for it. So that's, that's the good thing. All right. Is there any Zeke's down? Sometimes there's Zeke's down here, but we probably already woke them all up. Here's a bookshelf. Okay, there's another Zeke. Three more. Nice. Dodge there, Darlene. Okay. Search those shelves. I think there's just clothing back this way. Oh, nice. Okay, we got another uh, gun rack. Nice baseball bat, too. So let's loot this. And I, I can't be f sure, but I think that's the other type that we don't currently have. Very nice. We'll take that, too. And very nice. Oh, my goodness. That's an A-level. Oh, I guess we have super level, though, or superior level. So that's still some really good loot, though, man. Uh, but not as good as what we have. Okay. So that was the main reason why I wanted to come in here, so we could get that another gun rack. So that's great. All right, let's finish out the quest here. We're going to get rushed. Come on. Bonk. Just a toity in here. Close pile. There's a purse. Oh, come on, menu leg. Oh, that's right. We can get sewing kits from clothes. Probably. The thing is, is it, it takes so long. Oh, nice. That's just going to give us, yeah, that. Okay. Well, that was a good find. The thing is, is it takes so doggone long to search all the clothes in this place. That, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hit all of them, but we'll start grabbing some of them, even though we're already done. Oh, look at that. We got a freebie right there. Let's close that door. And now here they all come. Smooth as a baby's butt. Okay, we're not done yet, uh, but we are in the fat loot's room. Let's actually finish the, uh, the Zeke's first. Are we supposed to go up on the roof? Don't we have zombos over here too? Yeah. Quit pushing me, big mama. Return to trader. Okay, we got all the Zeeks. Nothing behind there. Check the clothes. Wow, look at that. That's a good find, too. Maybe I should be checking all the clothes in here. You know, sewing kits in particular would be good. It's going to take a million years to do that, though. <laughs> you know, that's not the priority. 
That is not the priority. Okay, we'll pick this up. Oh, by the way, I realized that we no longer get research data from scrapping computers and monitors and stuff. So that kind of sucks. That, in my opinion, makes them far less valuable than they used to be. Because, you know, you get, you get the electronics and all that kind of stuff, but that stuff's not really that hard to come by. I'm checking all these boxes just because we have a chance of finding a book in them. This one here got some adhesive okay let's pop a, an eye candy we definitely got some nice armor pieces from here not necessarily upgrades but nice armor pieces nonetheless Ooh, okay that's pretty good too not bad a 4.3, it's 0 0.6 le uh, lower than what we are currently using. Okay. Yeah, we just got to get that one last lock pick point, and then we won't have to... Oh, these are still worth taking, though, because look at that. I, I didn't really realize that. Increases lock picking tool durability by 200%. So they're still, even after we do get 100% lock picking, we're still going to have... It's still going to be worth it to carry those around for that 200% durability. I like that because it makes the candy still useful even after you're completely maxed out. It's good stuff. It's good game design. There we go. Nyeh. That's pretty lame stuff. All things said and done. Um, is there any reason to go on the roof? We're probably going to have to contend with some buzzards up here. But there might be an ammo pile or something. I just don't remember. It's also laggy as hell up here. There's some bird's nests. We got a backpack over there. Oh, you know what? There wouldn't be any live Zeeks up here because we've completed the quest. Yeah, that just occurred to me. All right, well, let's just get the loot skis then. Some honeycomb. And there was a bird's nest over here. Great. Okay. Let's head on back, do the turn in, get some money, and then we'll take another job. Attitude, friend. Um, two seventy four forty eight. This is worth more money. This is far more useful to us. But uh, I think we'll take that. Okay. Next job. Zelect old mancer. Oh, it's the same ones, huh? Shit. Okay. Uh, let's do the I construction a job site for someone of your talents. This is a fetch and oh, clear. Thank you very much. I will make it worth your while. Okay, I I know I've been here. I don't think I've fully looted this place. I didn't time that very well, did I? We never looted that, uh, but we've looted that. Okay, well, in the interest of time, I think we're just going to reset it.
because I don't know what I've looted, what I haven't looted, and um, I don't want this to take forever. Okay, let's just start it. Now, I'm going to put some stuff in here. Let's put the heavier items in here. Those, I think I'll just drink. All right, that's good enough. Okay, what is this? This is a clear and retrieve. Traded a blow for a blow. All right, well, we know we're going to get attacked by vultures coming out of that building. And I haven't actually done this POI like all the way through. I just came over here a long time ago looking for resources. Um, so this is really, oh shit, uh, this, <laughs> this is really a new POI to me. Okay. Silent buzzards, man. Let's go ahead. We might as well loot all these giblets. Get more stuff for the garden and whatnot. It's faster just to do a, a fast attack and hit it twice. Okay, so let's just start with this house, and we'll, oh good, we got a book, and we'll just work our way around the thing. All right, a rat, a rat tail snake. There he is right there. <laughs> Nothing in the back there. Okay, we'll just go th through the house. Okay, I see a red dot. And I hear, <clears throat> hear Zombo footsteps. It's just some dude walking around out uh, outside, I think. All right, I don't see anything in here. That's almost maybe upstairs because they're right over that way. Let's grab this laptop. Or they could be out in the backyard too, actually. Oh, shite. That sound is always so frightening <laughs> when you hear that dog growl and you're not expecting it. Uh, is that a plug? No, I guess not. Okay, since we're in the backyard, let's just take a quick look, see around. Honeycomb. All right, don't really see anything else out here. This probably goes into the gay garage. Oh no, to the bathroom. Nothing we're interested in here. Check these cabinets real quick. Is this a um a vanilla POI? You guys know, or is it Undead Legacy? I don't think I've ever, like I said, I don't think I've ever done it before. Okay, let's go up here. Probably going to be a Zeke in there. I see a red dot over that direction. No 
Nobody in there? Let's go in this room first. That is not lootable. We'll grab the TV. I'm not going to do anything else. This is going to take us a long time, so we, we really need to move here. So, we'll... We won't loot anything that's not... You know, really good stuff. Um, that, we don't care about iron gloves, so we're going to scrap that for research data. And we'll pick this up. As I mentioned, though, I might n stop... I thought that was maybe a plug there. I might stop um, picking up TVs and stuff like that because they're just not as valuable as they used to be. All right, we got Jiggly. Check this. Are those better than what we got? They are not. They're three points less. Okay, yeah. I'm not taking any more of those. All right, I think we're done with this house. So let's move on to the next one. Did we actually go in the garage, though? I don't think we did. What the hell's going on here? Guess who forgot to bring their explosives? Mother. Okay, we gotta kill him because this is a clear and retrieve. We don't have any wood planks. All right, let's get some wood planks. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of Zeeks in there. All right, where's the bear? I can't get to the bear. Come here, bear. Whew, okay, we got the bear. Oh, shit. Big mama, cut it out. Couple of crawlers, not too worried about them. I think we are gonna do this though. Whew, that was a little intense. He's down. Okay, so that um, spider must be in the garage here. Let's close the door here. There he is. Oh, this is the fat loot's room. No wonder it was so heavily guarded. Or it's 
AFAT loot room. There's a bunch of buildings in this POI, so... Okay, let's check all these. This No, this has got to be like the main fat loot room in the whole POI. Did we just go in reverse order? We must have. <laughs> we must have got a reverse order. All right, that's fine. We'll eat, we'll eat dessert first. Life's uncertain and all that. Um. Okay, so let's take an eye candy. And uh, start looting here. Okay, all good stuff. 50 caliber rounds. Nice. And a barbed wire mod. Okay, we'll take that. Mo power. Come on. All right, that's good. We'll scrap that. A triple street light. Not sure what we would use that for necessarily, but we'll take it for now. Seriously? That's an insult. All right, we will scrap that, and we have another M60. And let's open this. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep jailbreakers with us all of the time. Man, we are really not doing so good with counterclockwise anymore. The RNG is just trying to make me look stupid. That's all it is. Uh, all right, well, that's worth fixing up and selling, I suppose. Don't see anything up there. All right, this door is locked, uh, so let's pick it. I didn't see a, uh, you know, like a key or anything to unlock it. All right, move on to the next one. I guess, like I said, we're doing this in reverse. We should probably, oh, yep, here they come already. There's lots of triggers in this place, so it doesn't matter how quiet we are. Alright, we're pretty banged up. I think we're going to take a big boy first aid kit here. Uh, fortunately, we don't have any criticals, though. You know what maybe we should do is... Let's just run around all along the outside and wake up everything that's going to trigger. Or maybe we already did. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, so that's that's the only completed house. So I guess I guess the game figured we'd understand that and start at the incomplete houses and work our way around, but it doesn't matter. I mean, you know. Oh crap. Why is this reset? I had to log out of the game for in real life reasons and I came back. And the quest reset. What the hell, man? Um, that should not happen in this game, but it does. I completely forgot about that. But, you know, when in real life calls, in real life calls. Ah, shit. Okay. Well, I guess we started over and we get more loot. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose, but it's the way it turned out. Okay. Well, we're doing this all over again. Uh, this time, though, we will do it and start and go around that way. But, hold on one second here. Okay. Um, yeah, let's deal with the buzzards first. 
And then I think I'm going to do the same thing as before, where I'm just going to run over there and activate all of the triggered Zeeks. And get them dealt with first. Yeah, I bet... I wish the game wouldn't do that. We should be able to log out in the middle of a quest, log back in. Here they come. You know, and, and resume. Hopefully that's something that'll get fixed in the in a future version, you know? I think that's an, a base game issue, too. I don't think that's an Undead Legacy issue. You gotta deal with that damn bear again, too. Alright, anybody else gonna jump out? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, we'll probably have an opportunity here, looks like, to get concrete. So, um, let's get our shovel out. We might not have a whole lot of action in these incomplete houses anyway. Or, or not. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have some action like that, but probably not a ton. Let's climb up here. Well. Look who's stuck. Ow. You're not stuck now. I figured there'd be somebody hiding behind here. Nothing in the toolbox. We'll pick these up because we do get batteries from recycling them. I'll be in only one, but I guess that kind of makes sense, even if it does suck a little bit. And we've got a box over here. With some iron in it. And we are now encumbered. Ugh. Okay. Destroyed cement mixer. Get our pick down here to get the bricks. Okay. I guess that's it for this first house. All right, let's move on to the next house here. Water barrel, not really interested in that. Uh, let's get this though. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, so scrap that. What does this do? Uh, craft a stun repulsor mod. Yeah, you know what? We're some Sometime I'm going to do a 7 Days to Die series where I totally spec into stun batons. I don't really like them, but sometime I'll do that. I'm just not going to do it now. Okay, we got somebody's attention somewhere. Down with you. Got some bolts. That's good. All right. This house is enclosed, so we might get a little more action in here. What do we get from this? Just scrap wood? Yeah, that wasn't worth our time. These are, though, because we get pipes from these. Twelve pipes. That's pretty good. That is pretty doggone good. Um, yeah, let's pick this up. Okay, so how are we supposed to go if we follow the path, Aiden? I think maybe they want us to go this way. Come on, Edgar. Get your fat butt down here.
Nice. Outhouse. <sighs> Sounds like there's just one Zeke in there. up somebody else somewhere and we woke up three somebody else's all right let's deal with these guys first group knockdown oh you're not dead okay Darlene Oh, okay, so this is where we would go if we were going to do the night nighttime quest. Whoops. Iron pickaxe and some gears. Okay. Don't really see anything that way. Let's come into here. Got some more construction boxes. This gives us clay and paper and stone because it's sheetrock. And I think that's it for the garage. I'm not sure. Oh, we were supposed to take the path that where Edgar threw out, uh, flew out the window. Or wait a minute, are we supposed to do that ramp there? That's probably the way back down. So let let's just is this paper? It's cloth. Huh, must be like a carpet roll or something. So let's go up here. Let's take a small bandage. Get that loaded. Sneaky! How much cloth do we get from this pile? One? Seriously? Come on, game. Do we get pipes from this? We should. Yes, we do. Only one, though. Is this floor going to collapse? Nope. All right. It's a great place to come to get resources, man. What the heck? Here, why am I doing that? Just go around this way. We are hungry. He came out of the ceiling there. All right, that's the way we came through. I guess uh, we're supposed to go down now. I don't see any other way to get up on the roof. Okay, let's go down. I was going to try and get a sneaky sneak off on him, but... Oh, shit. Yeah, get stuck on the railing. Definitely wanted to get the irradiated bow first. Um, do we have a 
rad remover on here? We do. Okay, good. That is a good thing. All right, we'll take that stuff. Trash there. Another construction box. With 17 nails. And we are now encumbered. Wood cutting has improved to 42. Any zombadoodles in there? Oh, good. We have two charges of mineral water. That's good. Uh, where? Here we go. Okay, high level iron shovel. It just goes outside. Nothing to loot in here. Well, no, no cabinets. I is what I meant to say. There we go. Another medicine cabinet. And I think we're done uh, inside the house. Apparently, though. We were supposed to be able to go down that ramp from, I guess, up here. The, you know, the, the pathing is not crystal clear in this place. That's okay. It doesn't need to be, but. All right. So there's a ledge out here, and then we would drop down here and fight Darlene and go out the door. I gotcha. Okay. More cloth here. All right. Let's go reset our inventory because we need to lighten up a little bit and we need to start moving too because it's getting late in the day got to get a move on if we're going to finish this in fact because of that uh let's take how much food do we get from this 53 yeah let's drink uh drink eat two of those and i'm going to take a steroid too just to speed things up and let's Take a mineral water to counter the thirst effect of the steroid. That's all that's up here. Do we get boards from this? Yep. Is it Horde Night? Is it really Horde Night, you guys? I am not ready for Horde Night. It's got to be because the thunder just started at 1800 hours. Oh, shit. Um, That's a problem. That is a big big problem oh shit that's a problem too uh you know what we're gonna have to do um we're gonna have to take the night off for horde night i am not even close to being ready and i wouldn't be able to get ready in time i did not realize i totally lost track of time you guys wow um i think we already have one of these but let's pick it up anyways Okay. Um, so yeah, let's just shit. What are we going to do? Um, I'm probably going to have to camp out on top of a, a stout building. I really honestly did not <laughs> realize that the hard night was uh, upon us. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, well, let's move. Let's move it, move it, move it. Um, you know what? Forget it. I'm not collecting any more resources. Let's just finish the, the quest. Nobody in there. We'll just loot. Easy to loot stuff. We're not going to worry about resources. We're going to run in here and just kill everything as quickly as possible. Oh, 
Oh man, hold those heads still, please. Wow. That was a big, uh, a big boo-boo. Um, I don't even know if it's worth it for me to check all these construction boxes, honestly. For 15 nails? Not really. Alright, there's probably gonna be somebody in here. A couple of somebodies. Uh, we have the puppy. Hey, Larry. Okay, let's just loot in here really quick. Nice wrench. I mean, we could even theoretically... Um, probably stay in the Deshong and be okay. But, I'd rather not do that because it's just... Unneeded wear and tear on our, our main base building, you know. What we could also do is go back to our horde base and just take out a few rungs of the ladder and just see if we can survive the night there. Or we could go to the the parking garage and try and fight them at the parking garage. Um, that's, oh, that's a scorpion. I'm going to say, what in the hell is that? All right. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get this finished here. Have some, some food. Off with your head. Nobody in there. Yeah, you know what? I think that's what we'll do. We're going to go back to the Horde base building. Um, is, are we supposed to go through that way? What happens if we harvest these with an axe? Oh, we still get venomous axe. All right, let's just do this the same way we did it before. Well, we've already woken everybody up. Can I, um, where is my nail gun? That's right here. Stone? Why does that want stone? Shit, I don't know. Oh shit, here comes the bear. Oh shit, we gotta find the supplies too. Oh crap, okay. Let's get in here and get the loots. The supplies are back over that way. I completely forgot about that. All right, pop an eye candy. Nice, we got an antibiotic out of that deal. All good stuff here. Uh, well, I guess that's worth selling. Um, okay, and then let's just open the big, the big boy. Got to take a jailbreaker. What time is it? 1938. Okay, we got this. We don't have to do the turn-in 
um, tonight. We still will if I feel like we have enough time. But anyway, what I was saying, I know I'm a little sidetracked, but I am being attacked by zombies. Um, we're gonna just, we're just gonna spend the night on the horde base building, and if it looks like it's gonna be compromised, uh, then what we'll do is we'll we'll go um, we'll jump across over to the other building and then from there to the garage if need be. And the name of the game will just be survival. And I don't think we'll really fight them because I'm not prepared to fight them. Uh, it's upstairs here. Right here. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I mean, it feels to me like we just did the Horde Night. It really does, but I guess... I guess there has been quite a few days that have... Well, seven days <laughs> that have gone by, you know, just because of all the work and stuff we're doing on the... on the base. But it just stuck up on me. Sometimes it happens. We have two hours, man. Okay, let's... We gotta move, we gotta move. Steel machete for 819 or steel boots? The machete is definitely more money. Um, we'll worry about jobs later. Yeah, I haven't even been up up here since the last horde night. So uh, I think, guys, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take a mulligan on this one. I was not planning on doing this. I, I, I honestly, honest to God, did not uh, realize it was ordinary. It just wasn't paying attention. But, um, yeah, we're just not ready for it. I could attempt to fight them, but the problem is I don't have enough repairs. I don't have any explosives on me. And the demos are going to come, as you know they will, and they're, they're going to be the problem. So what we're going to do is we're just going to see if this building can hold up to the Horde Knight. And I'm just going to break. Do I have my jackhammer with me? Yes, I do. I'm just going to break these two blocks because this is the cheapest way to break the path and will be very easy to repair later on. I don't even really probably need to do two, but I'll do two anyways, just, just for the hell of it. Okay. And yeah, we'll just uh, see how this building holds up. <laughs> if it collapses, well... And that's going to force us to come up with a new horde base solution anyway. I mean, even the way that it's current that that it currently is, it's ju we just barely survived the last horde night, you know. Um I'm going to close those anyways, not that it matters. And yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to officially end the episode here, but I'm going to keep the recorder running. If anything crazy happens, then we will start the next episode with that craziness. If nothing crazy happens, then when we start the next episode, I will just say, hey, we got through the Horde Night, nothing crazy happened, and move on from there. All right, you guys? So thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, and wish me luck, too. Say a prayer, that sort of thing.